It's the best part of the internet. I'll do whatever I think, and you guys will tell me how wrong I was in the comments. So, my original plan today was actually to work on the Nomad, because everyone's giving me a hard time about fixing the Nomad. And uh, I didn't the parts fix Nomad. Local guys didn't even have it for an absurd price, so we're doing nothing. 55 is done. 57 is like road tested. And I'm driving the convertible a lot lately. We went and stole some parts off Danny's car, so it's pretty much legit. And I thought to myself, so the car looks really good from about here. It looks good on camera, and it looks good rolling down the road. But there is some orange peel in the paint, and I think I'd like to polish it. So on the way home from work today, I picked up some buffing pads. I think I have a bunch of buffing compound. And it looks really good on the top side, but right, you know, on the sides and all that, there's a little bit of orange peel and the deck lid actually really drives me nuts. Kind of around here and around the back. So, I don't know, I don't know if you can be able to see it on, on camera, but it does kind of show up. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna drive this thing around to the other studio. And uh, it's also leaking gas, I smell it. And we're gonna see if we can maybe wet sand the clear coat a little bit and polish up a few little bits and see how it turns out. And hopefully this video goes from, uh, you know, polish your gorgeous tractor paint instead of uh, how to ruin your gorgeous tractor paint. But uh, how hard can it be? So we get this thing fired up, we'll get over there, and we'll get set up with a few uh, buffing pads. Okay, so we're on the back side of the car. Now this is where the orange peel is the absolute worst. You can see it right there. That went, went goopy. Now I couldn't, we were painting this thing with the door down the other garage. I couldn't get far enough away. It was hard to see uh, when I was putting the paint on. So there's lots of color and then we have clear coat on top. So we're gonna just try and scuff up the clear coat. Now it's gonna be a fine line there as to how much we should take off. I want to just start on this side actually because it's not quite so ugly and uh, we'll just do a little section I got some uh, 2000 grit sandpaper and the hose and a bunch of cloths and stuff like that so I'll just do maybe one little section there that way if it screws up it's uh, down low and kind of hidden a little bit by the bumper and no one will know my uh, giant mistakes but I'm hoping if that comes out nice I'll be able to do a few sections some of the car will just need polishing yeah, there's a little bit of orange peel there too. We can scuff up and, and polish out. This one, basically here up, I want to look really nice. Here down, we might just give it a little once over, but that's what you're gonna notice. Okay, well the first uh, first swipe is always the hardest. <laughs> well, we got some 2000 grit on some uh, little sanding block here. It's been probably about a month to paint this thing, so. We'll just see if it'll smooth out, go real, real, real gentle. Lots of water and uh, see what happens. The big issue is you just want to make sure you watch the edges. Don't even really go up to the edges because they burn through easy for whatever reason. The water's kind of turning a milky color, which makes you think the clear is kind of coming off. So just be real gentle. We'll uh, be back shortly. It should be flat uh, texture wise but dull that means we've got all the orange peel out well this is hard to look at but uh, so you can see here we're pretty much flat I didn't really touch the edges it's all nice and shiny now we didn't get every last little dot out um, you got to kind of use your best judgment because to get every single one of these out you're taking more and more clear off and I want as much clear to stay on the car as possible so you can see how we're nice and flat there. You go up just a little bit. You can see what just a stripe will do. That's the, that's all the orange peel we're trying to get out of it. So I should be able to get the polisher and we'll uh, bring this little section back. And assuming this turns out good, then we can probably hit the whole back here. See what it turns out like. like look at that. Ugh. So we got it all kind of dried off. I have my uh, yellow pad, which I think is the roughest one. We got some correction glaze we'll just see what this kind of does 
I do have some other compounds we can try, but start off easy and work our way up, I think is kind of the plan. You can always go, you know, uh, more uh, higher grit or lower grit, I should say, for, uh, for getting it off faster, but we're trying to take it easy. You know, set the buffer up a little bit. Well, we're making progress, but not quite as fast as I would like. And we still have, I don't know if it shows up, some scratches in there, which I don't like, but man, I like do my hair in this compared to that. So we're in the right direction. Now, I consulted with uh, Mike Cotton, expert painter and polisher, and he recommended, so I have this DeWalt dual action thing. He recommended just a, hardcore polisher grinder style one and a wool pad after I wet sand it'll bring it back a lot faster and a few of you guys have said that in the comments too I guess these wool or these uh, foam pads and the DA just doesn't put enough heat into the material and I guess that's what it needs to kind of work so I think tomorrow I'm going to break down some of the 250 bucks buy the proper polisher and see if that makes a difference I don't hate what this is doing but I feel like it's pointless to kind of keep going uh because the other stuff's going to work much much faster so very doable i didn't make it any worse it does look this is nice if i can just take some of those scratches out compared to you know what we got here which is kind of blah look at that in the, in the roof lighting versus this it's much nicer so go spend some more some money tomorrow after work and hopefully make a bunch of progress same day I went out and bought the polisher because I have no patience. With the wool pad, I just gave it a quick once over. Wow, did it ever pull all the scratches out in this little section. Look at how freaking good this looks. Yep, don't mind that. That's a that's a me error. I didn't go to the edge because I was a little scared. I was going to grab it. So you can see there's a few scratches there. So we'll have to work way up to it. This thing damn near pulls out of your arm. So it's quite the situation, but it has now alleviated all my worries about wet sanding this whole back. So that's what we're gonna do. License plate off, probably pull this pile of junk off, and we'll do you know, there across, down, see what it looks like. Here's what we're working with. Obviously, this has been wet sanded down. Now, we didn't go perfect. There's still some imperfections for sure. But we're going to see how this polishes back out. Obviously, that's what we had. So, I don't know how much more to go down. I'm, I'm worried about burning through the clear into the color, which that is a problem I don't want to deal with. And we went just up to kind of the ridge. It's not nearly as orange peely up here. So, we'll see exactly what the best course of action is on the on the top but we'll uh we'll get this section done wipe it all down get it cleaned up and then start uh, polishing with the wool pad okay so this stuff we're going to use it's uh it's pretty aggressive definitely has some grit in it and this is where i'm an amateur so they'll be a little leery at it now if, if you noticed before i didn't do a great job sanding here because that's where the emblem's going to be and then the license plate so no point wasting all sorts of time on that. Now this does have a trigger and it's variable speed and it really wants to pull. You can feel it, so I'm going to take my time.
So I'm doing a little practicing. Had the camera off for a bit. Uh, getting kind of used to it, but my god. <laughs> like, look at this. Uh, it's still not perfect at the bottom because I'm scared about burning, you know, catching an edge. But like, wah. I didn't think this was too bad before, but dang. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, I definitely have my uh, work cut out for me. I didn't go crazy around where the plate was and all that sort of stuff, obviously, but... Whew. Turns out, it's just like how I'm not a good welder, I'm a good grinder. I'm not a good painter, but I'm a pretty decent polisher. So I got a little bit of work ahead of me. It's supper time right now. I think I'm going to shut her down for the night. It's getting late for like 8 or 9 o'clock. But uh, tomorrow, we'll jam, get a few more things done. And I think it's the end of the day, you can have a mediocre paint job turn into a pretty good one, a little bit of polishing. Uh, even though I'm wearing the same clothes, it is the next day. I'm just all gross. Um, I did pick up a few little things after work, a couple different pads, and I brought some laundry soap, no, dish soap out, just for the wet sanding, and I got a new uh, sanding pad. I got a foam one. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to set up the time lapse. I'm going to do the whole deck lid. I'm going to sand the whole thing down with some probably 2,000, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and start buffing it back. I think I was using too much compound was my number one issue, and I think just kind of easing it in there and getting a feel for it is, well, that's what I'm struggling with. That's learning uh, learning curve. We're definitely making progress, and even though this isn't perfect, it is better than that. So I'd rather have the odd little scratch where I can still try and buff out versus all this ugliness. So you can clearly see in here the way it looks, you know. It's got some junk in the clear and all that, but uh, yeah, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of buffing. We should have a fair bit of progress. Now this is where I burnt through the red paint a while ago, so I gotta be careful, obviously that's a high spot. But yeah, let's get after it. Which kind of showed up when we were doing the fast motion but that's kind of what we got now which is working out pretty good now i did think i screw up in one spot right here i think i went through the clear when i was sanding it had a big goober there kind of like these so word of the wise maybe just deal with that because now we're going to have something that's going to show up which is going to be lame oh i might have done it here too oh well so we're going to go ahead now, I'm being careful around the edges, so you can see they're not quite done. And even in here, we could probably do a little bit more. I think I might try and finish it with this pad. But we're going to set the camera back up. We're going to do the rest of the deck lid. It's a fine line. You want a little bit of heat, but you don't want to burn through. So I wish I could give you better advice, but I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, the deck lid's getting better, I guess. I definitely we're going to have some imperfections that I'm going to cause screwing it up versus all the kind of orange peel in the paint. But, uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yin and yang.
parts on the table are screwed up a bunch. Is the lens still good? Okay. So across the top, it came out really nice. And uh, definitely I got a few scratches in the clear. I don't know how I quite did that. I might be able to kind of wet sand them or continue buffing, but I'm worried I'll make it worse. And I'm pretty sure that one section here, I definitely went through the clear. I don't know. Um, uh, here, it's fantastic all around here. I'm so happy with that. That looks great. This is where I boned it. Now, this was the worst part of the deck lid where it really went orange peely. So I did a bunch of sanding and stuff, but I started to burn through in spots and I don't know how the heck I did it, but all in there. And I'm wondering if maybe it's still soft or if I should continue to wet sand it because I didn't even go crazy. I was worried down here. Like again, this, this is kind of covered by the bumper anyway, so I'm not overly concerned up here. Really nice. Just this one kind of section here. And I could clean this up a little bit more. It's got some marks on it. So I think I might pull the sandpaper out and see if we can maybe clean this up a little bit because you know it obviously burnt through. It's just weird paint. And maybe just do this one section and try doing it maybe with just a, a pad instead of the, the, the wool pad. The wool pad does polish, but it puts a lot of heat in the panel. And I think that might be my issue. So I think I'm gonna try wet sanding this real quick and just see what it comes out as with some 2000. If I can level it out, because I definitely, I can feel that. So it makes me nervous to go on the rest of the car for sure. So I might do a few little spots here and there but I don't want to mess it up because I definitely have messed up the deck lid, but the deck lid was so bad that I made it better. But the rest of the car is pretty decent. So we'll see, we'll play with it a little bit day by day. Okay, so I got some 1500 on a really soft block. We'll just kind of see what this does. So I'm wondering if, oh, see it's, it's grabbing the sandpaper. It's almost gulling it up. I wonder if that's the, polish grabbing it or if it's kind of soft or what the deal is so, well it's definitely going kind of the milky color which is the clear as we're sanding it with some water so we're making some progress <laughs> well, sorry about that. I don't know if it's progress or not but we're doing something Let's see if we can just kind of sand these out hey experts start off as hacks right Okay, well actually that took a lot of it down, so that's not too bad. Maybe I just had too much clear on it. I didn't sand it enough originally and it got kind of hot and soupy. I don't know. Okay, so we got rid of that one. That should polish up. Well, maybe I'll just, I'll do this whole thing. Let's see exactly how it turns out. Can't get any worse, right? And worst case, I mean, if I absolutely screw it right up, I'll just, oh, there's a rough spot here. I'll uh, just re-clear the whole deck lid. But I'm pretty confident I can. This is just like the never ending butchery story. Oh yeah, that, that comes out. All right, so obviously I just burnt the clear, but I can sand it out, so. We'll see how it goes, and I might see if I can polish it just with my DA and put a little less heat in it. I think that was the issue. But it's the best part of the internet. I'll do whatever I think, and you guys will tell me how wrong I was in the comments. Okay, so I did a little practice spot right here. I, I scuffed up where I went through the clear, and I got some of it out. I probably could go a little deeper, but I wanted to practice bringing it back with the DA. Just wouldn't do it, so I had to use the, the wool. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna schmoo it on. I did a little sanding up there too, even though a lot of it's gonna be hidden by the emblem. And I was doing it here, but you know what? The license plate's gonna cover that, so I might be overthinking it. You can still see a little bit of the clear, even though it's, and now it's kind of the water's off and it's dried. So we're gonna see how much we can polish back. I'm gonna put a little bit of the compound on, and we're gonna try and go real light on it. Um, not as much pressure, maybe not as much heat. Might go a little slower, but I think we'll end up with a, a better result, because man, Looks good up there, and we still got to go over it with a, a fine uh, pad and some like top coat, you know, wax type stuff. So, 
We'll get set up. We'll see what we can do down here. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff. I'm gonna use a little bit more than I kind of would usually. I think just I'm concerned about the burn through factor, and we'll uh, see what happens. I'm thinking what I did on the edges was I was just almost floating the the pad across it. That seemed to work kind of the best for those edges. This damn decklet's a pain in the ass too. The old knee sawhorse. I don't think that's enough, but you know what? I want to just kind of wipe it off and see where we're going with it. It's actually better. So you want to go and it's like a bit of a feel, which I just don't have yet. We are going and all of a sudden the paint just starts kind of coming through. You can see it shining uh, around the pad. And I think that's where a little bit of heat and all that kind of comes into play. So it's a little warm right here. It's dead cold everywhere else. So it needs more heat or more pressure. <sighs> Stress. Okay, so we're doing all right down here. I think I actually started to burn through again in a different spot, so. Makes me think the paint isn't the best down there, the clear, I should say, because I can't screw up everywhere but the same spot twice, right? Or nowhere, but I'd screw up the same spot twice, I should say. So that's coming back pretty good. So we need a little bit more right in there. I don't know if I show up on camera or not. Down here's pretty good. This edge. And this bottom piece. I didn't do anything in here yet, so yeah, it's, it's done the same thing again. The clear must still be soft there, or I guess well, when I'm editing the video, I'll see if I keep catching that edge over and over again. It's getting double the heat or something, but everything else is coming back pretty good. Okay, I'll get that and that done, and we'll we'll come back and see if we should power through this or not. It doesn't even feel hot. Okay, well I've been playing around. We got her pretty good here again, license plate there, emblem there, so we're fine. Uh, a few little bits are still in there. Man, I tried playing down here, sanded it, and you go easy on it, it doesn't polish. You put a little bit of heat into it, it, it cuts in. So the clear, for some reason down here, I'm, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna the paint behind it, or I don't know what, it's just soft. Huh, you know what? I can put my fingernail in there still. That might be the issue. <laughs> um, if I can show you here. See that mark I just left there? That's unbelievable. So obviously this is still not hard and I'm chasing my tail. So I bet if I let this sit or whatever in the sun and bake for weeks on end, it'll probably dry or harden up a little bit better than I can hit it again. It doesn't look that bad like this anyways. I think what I'm gonna do though in the meantime I'm going to hit this with the orange pad with the DA just to get some of the junk out of it and then color it. That's unbelievable. That's still soft. Everything else, I guess that's probably my problem. Eh? Figure that one out in the comments. Okay, well, not to sound full of myself, but that does look really good. <laughs> now, down here, it's not quite as shiny, but I brought it up. I did use the, uh, you can still see the scuffs there, um, just the DA. So it actually did a pretty nice job. So... Overall, I think it's a success. I think we can definitely sand this out and bring it back uh, down the road a little bit. I probably could have hit a little harder with the DA, but I'm not. Now the next well, situation I'm, I'm a little worried about is what's this gonna look like now to the other paint? So I think what I'm gonna do, there's stuff everywhere on this. We're gonna drive outside, we're gonna give it a good wash, lots and lots of water, get all the junk off of it. And then I do have to finish this with the uh, fine top coat glaze. I'm thinking maybe I'll try doing you know, into this and see if it makes any difference 
on the paint without wet sanding because a lot of the paint actually is really nice like this didn't have a whole lot of orange peel in it it really happened on the deck lid from here back uh, in around there was fine they're a little bit on the top but you know I can live with all that so that's what I'm thinking drive it out wash it you'll see it again next it'll be uh, a little more cleaned up okay so I got it all washed down and honestly the paint it looks good um, everything matches you know, I think the big thing was because this was such a flat area, you really noticed the orange peel a lot more when it's in the curves. Not nearly as noticeable. So I don't know if I learned anything here, but uh, I don't think it got any worse. So we'll put a little bit of this on there with a fine pad. We'll give it a once over. I'll probably do the whole section because I might as well. And then uh, call her a day. We got to head out of town right away to try and get another car. And you guys are going to love this. I'm going to steal the wheels off this thing so we can't even drive it anymore. <laughs> At least for the weekend. She never works that hard. Grease? She's sandy. shirt so we did that a while ago we're terrible letting you guys know we make shirts but if you're interested in one i'll put a link in the the bio it's on our teespring uh store i guess anyways we got this all completely buffed well i did all the work danny just did a whole lot of reading her book but uh it looks good you can't tell any difference between the two um like i said the orange peel's kind of mostly gone it looks fantastic we might tackle the hood and the tops of the doors and stuff like that or i might just totally forget about it and drive the thing because that was like two days worth of work and a stressful amount of screw ups. And I just wanna drive this thing. So this is not a tutorial, it's not a how to, it's a what I did and how it was wrong. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, but uh, it was a good time. So we got back this thing in, actually we're gonna go buy candy apples, then we're gonna back this thing in, I'm gonna steal the wheels and tires off of it. So we can go to Saskatoon and try and drive a car home, probably fail at that and uh, carry on with life. There you go. Let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, Buy a shirt. Thank you.